you guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a Tuesday tip. This week I wanted to give you the quick and dirty about tissue cultured plants. They're invaluable for several reasons and I wanted to give you a little overview of what they are, how it came about, and why we should use them. So tissue cultured plants actually started way back in 1902 in Germany by a man named Gottlieb Hildebrandt and he developed it for terrestrial plants and in about the 40s the medium that were, is used to grow terrestrial plants was standardized and then by the 90s it started being used for aquarium plants and it's really pretty cool what they do is they take a parent plant and they sterilize it through a series of procedures often a bleach dip um, and things like that and then they culture with micropropagation which is using a microscope to remove any buds or shoots from the parent plant, which are then put into a dish of uh, media, which is completely sterile, but contains nutrients for the plant to grow. So it's free of pests and algae and disease. And then those plants are grown under good light conditions in a controlled temperature in a laboratory. So why use tissue culture? Well, there's a few reasons some of which are more practical than others. There's a lot of portion in that little cup, generally six to 10 portions per cup. The cups are very small, they're easy to ship, they're easy for retailers to store. They are generally very healthy because they're grown in such controlled conditions. They don't have any algae, they don't have any plant pests, and they don't have any snails. The plant pest part is exceptionally important for the international industry. This has opened up the ability for many, many countries to get a lot more variety of aquarium plants. It has also reduced the need for wild collection of aquarium plants, which is awesome for our ecological systems. They have a very high multiplication rate. That means when you plant them, they grow really fast. Absolutely no pesticides are used, which is especially important in our shrimp tanks. If you get plants that are imported from, say, Asia or someplace like that, they have to be treated with uh, pesticides in order to prevent the transmission of any nematodes or snails. Often, if you put these into a shrimp or snail tank, it means mass death to your critters. And it's not as easy as just rinsing them off. You have to quarantine them for a while before they're safe for those tanks. So using tissue culture skips that process and means it's safe right away. The other nice thing is that if you get in cups of tissue culture plants, you don't always have to plant them right away. They're generally pretty good to keep in those cups for a week or so, as long as it's not too warm. And if you know it's gonna be that long, you can always pop them in the refrigerator and they're fine like that for a week. So all in all, tissue culture's uh, really cool technology good quality plants, the diversity is growing by leaps and bounds, and they're very easy to use. All you do when you get them is rinse off the culture media and plant. It's fantastic. Now often the plants are short, but there's lots of them. So you get a lot more than you think in that little cup. I hope that helps and thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stop list, and information on all things nano. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know below.